Hello everyone and welcome back to our favorite show, which everyone requests a lot. And uh, speaking of requesting, everyone requested to have Bricky on the show, so welcome Bricky. Oh, thank you. People, people actually requested me on the show. Oh, that's cool. They that's, that's did, yeah. Can I can so, I can I plug Loot Crate now or later? Uh, there, there'll be time later for that. Okay. Don't damn. worry. Uh, so tell us quickly uh, where you come from and what you do. Um, come from like geographically or just like? Uh, well, I mean that's what they do on these shows usually. Okay. okay. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm from I'm from California, like you know 90% of all other YouTubers in Southern mm -hmm. California, and uh, you know I make. A lot of gaming stuff way back in the day was CSGO and League mostly. Now it's pretty variety, but uh, you know, League's still a big staple because it's the, one of the biggest series, and that's just kind of what I do. I like League lore a lot too, so it's kind of cool to be on here because I like to I like to test myself. I read all the universe stuff. It's it's really interesting. They got some solid ass writers there, so it's cool. You're you're probably the first contestant ever that like even mentioned that universe even exists. So. I, it's really good. It's like the website's like really, really <laughs> well structured. It's nice. I don't know. I, I remember reading through all the Piltover stuff. Oh, this is this is cool. And Oriana is really sad. So let's put you to the test. So we can look at. We finally got a list of people that appeared here. Be I, I ne never had that before. I finally got together the lower rankings of the three contestants before. So we got Fox Drop at the bottom with three, and we got Hazy with four points, and then we got uh, Ross or Red Riot with six points. Now, um, the rules are pretty much the same. I sometimes change things just a tiny bit. But we got three lifelines, just as every time, which are very useful. These lifelines will help you a lot on your journey. Uh, we got Fortune Teller, where Zillion will try to predict your future. We got Past Teller, where Zillion will try to look into your past. And then we got the cringe. We got the cringe teller, where uh, Zillion will try to make you cringe. Maybe he oh will boy. succeed. Maybe he. So, I, I don't. I don't like how try is capitalized. He it, will it try. Makes me, it right? makes me feel like that these very useful lifelines <laughs> are trying to be very useful lifelines. He's good with time, but he may not be that good. So. Okay. I guess with that we can jump into our first question. So. All right. What is the name? of Jin's gun. Is it A, curtain call? Is it B, duet? Is it C, whisper? Or is it D, symphony? Well, curtain call is his ultimate, so it's definitely not that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, and considering that his passive is called whisper, I'm probably gonna go with C, whisper. Is that your final answer? Yeah, why not? You are correct, it is whisper. That was an All easy right. start with an Good easy start. question. Good start, w w one for one. So now, let's move to more interesting questions. Let's start with number two. What kind of weapon you can't find in a Noxian military? Is it A, chemicals? Is it B, hextech? Is it C, magic? Or is it D, children? God damn it, the children part gets me. You know, it, without Kane, the children mm -hmm. part might have actually been the right answer. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's definitely not chemicals, because Singe uses chemicals. It's sure as hell not magic, because Swain exists. And Hextech is mostly kept to the Piltovers, so I'm gonna go with Hextech. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. You are correct. It is Hextech. You. Those are these pa these pauses make this every look time. Easy. You make this look easy because I am usually counting on people not knowing anything about the world at all, so I can pretty much just use use any answers I want. But that is right because the simple answer is because they are using chemicals, which means that they are in contact with Zone. They can't use Hextech because uh, Zone and Piltover will never work together on anything that's military. So if Zone is somewhere, Piltover will not follow and therefore they will not have access to Hextech. Although, I, oh, right. although uh, there is one story where we learn that Noxians already have spies in Piltover and they are trying to get Hextech technology. So that's something That in the would future. be scary. That would be indeed. I want a Hextech Darius skin. That'd be cool. Actually, we got the what, what's it called? We got the Kogma one, but he is from no, the no, void. No, no, no. There is a there is, there is a like technical uh, skin for uh, Darius. What's he called? Uh, like Gem, Gem, well, no, he has um he has uh, the the one that looks look like a space marine, the uh, Dreadnova. Yeah. 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 And then there is the Gem. What's it called? Jesus Christ! Nah. Bioforge. Bioforge. That's the one. Yeah, That's like the, 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 the green one. Thingy. Yeah. Yeah. So, with that, let's move to question number three. What is Jax's favorite food? 
Oh, is it shit. A, chicken? Is it B, beans? Is it C, bread? Or is it D, eggs? Has Jax had his lore revamped yet? Yes. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, wait, 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 who is he part of? I don't think I should tell you. No, you probably shouldn't, but uh, tell me after this. Um, <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know what? I'll do. I'll do one of these lifelines. Why not? All right. All right. Let's do the. Let's do the fortune teller one. Fortune teller. All right. Yeah. Seeing that you asked me, uh, I will tell you that you will probably not get it right. Oh, that yeah. You'll try to be. Yeah, you have to try to be used. Okay. Okay. All righty. I'm going Th with chicken. Thank you, Zillion. Th thank you, Zillion, for your help. By the way, so I'm going that. with chicken. Final so, answer is chicken. Final answer, chicken. You are wrong. It is ah. hard-boiled eggs. Really? It is. Yeah. What? How the hell is he supposed to peel them? He has three like fat-ass fingers. I I I actually remember that the story just avoided it. They never said how he eats anything, but they just said that he remembers the the glorious times when he had time to just eat eggs. So, so just, they, they they really nicely avoided it, so we don't know, but we know that he likes eggs. He, he just ate it. He just ate it. Hard, hard hard boiled ate, eggs. Ate hard boiled eggs. Yeah. He's like um, Cool Hand Luke. No <laughs> man can eat fifty <laughs> eggs. Yeah. How many can he fit fit in? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right. All, all right. So, all right. Two for three. Still fine. That is still a good score. Now, let's move to question. Oh, also. I should tell you because you asked. Uh, Jax is from Ionia. Uh, sorry, not Ionia. Uh, Shorima, and he oh. is—he is one of the last survivors who survived uh, the uh, ruination of Ascension. No, when uh, when the void, when the rift from the void opened in Shorima, it destroyed Ikathia. That's like the void city now, and he is one of the very few survivors who actually survived that, ex that, that incident. Oh, so, he so that's why like he's got a, the purple and everything? Yeah, he's like a legendary ruined being right now. We don't really know what he really is, but that's kind of his story right now. I do I do kind of miss his old story, where it was just like, you're so good with every weapon, we're going to give you this yeah. lamppost. And then they're like, you know what, you can use weapons again. And he's like, nah, dude, I'm doing <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I miss that. That's good, though. All right, so let's move to question number four. The Ruined King, which you may know for his item, was mm -hmm. the king of? Was it Shadow Isles? Was it Demacia? Was it Noxus? Or do we not know at all? You see, I know it's not Demacia, and I know it's not Noxus. Mm -hmm. uh, my issue is I'm actually doing a York video right now, so I was hardcore looking through York's lore. Mm -hmm. And in York's lore, the Ruined King came as an attempt to resurrect the Maiden, bringing a curse to the Shadow Isles. Or, or even like kind of making that like black mist, but it makes me wonder if he originally came from the Shadow Isles or if he came from somewhere else. Revive. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the cringe teller. Oh, you are. <laughs> I see. I just felt like saying it. I want right. to hear it. <clears throat> Do you remember the Summoner's Con where you met Magikarp for the first time? Yes. Do you remember anything about brownies? Yes. Yeah, it was a really awkward email I sent to him originally uh, when I first... It, yeah. When I, yeah, I was like 10,000 subs. Yeah. It's like, hey, man. I'll make you some, let's make some brownies. You know, we'll say hi. Jesus Christ, it was so horrible. Uh, I told him never... I, you know, I told him never to tell anyone about that email because it was too embarrassing. Mm -hmm. But it seems mm -hmm. that he may have have lied to me on that. I'm going to have a talk with somebody. Uh-huh. All right. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna beat his ass. I'm gonna go with the Shadow Isles. <laughs> Final answer? Yeah. You are wrong. We actually ah, don't was... know because don't... Ah, shit. the story is this: he was a king of an of a kingdom which we don't know anything about, but he traveled to Shadow Isles, which was back then called Blessed Blessed Isles. Right. He tried to resurrect his wife. He turned it into a zombie. He realized maybe that wasn't the smartest idea. So instead, out of anger, he just blew up the island. And, that's and to, now it's the Shadow Isles. Yeah, yeah he, he cursed the entire place, right? Yeah, he was like, I can't live with this. Let's, let us be together forever. So he basically, like, like a giant implosion as he, like, tried to merge the two together. 
but the giant implosion just took the entire isle. isle so. I, I was thinking that maybe he came from the Shadow Isles in a, in a sense of like, well, if the Queen was a part of the Shadow Isles, then he probably was with the Queen, therefore part of mm. the Shadow Isles. But I guess I, the Shadow Isles didn't become the Shadow Isles until the Ruin King came yes, around. Yes, yes, so I guess exactly. that would make... Ah, uh, okay, that makes exactly. sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, So, well, so get, his story is shot. part of the Shadow Isles, but he, he, he never was the king of that place. Gotcha. So. All right. All right, so two for four, still fine, 50% uh, success rate. So let's move to question number five. My cat may jump up. Oh, never mind. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, oh, my. What is the old hungry? Is it Warwick's underground name? Is it a Zonite clock tower? Is it the leader of Zone? Or is it Camille's underground uh, underground name? Well, it's definitely not Camille's. She's the she's the gray lady, so it's definitely not that one. Oh, nice. Um, I know it's on something. Uh, give me the give me the past to lifeline. All right. Uh, pasta. Uh, you had a black coffee cold brew with two shots of espresso recently, haven't you? I have actually. It's one, uh, well, it's not anymore. I that used to be my <laughs> own thing. They called it a uh, they called it a black eye. Haha. <laughs> well, that's yeah. Hard, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Oh, thanks, yeah. man. He, he um, read your past. Successfully, I might add. How much research have you done? <laughs> yeah, um, shout out to Pete's Coffee. Uh, I'm going to go with... You know what? I mean, it seems too obvious, but I'm going to take... Maybe sometimes the most obvious answer is the right answer, so I'm going to take with Warwick. I'm going to go Warwick with final answer. Is that your final answer? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that. You are... Technically wrong. It is a it is Zonite Clock Tower because really the, the old hungry uh, Vorik was uh, called there only once, but because uh, basically for what Vorik does to people, they they just started calling him the, the same name as the Clock Tower. But the original old hungry, as my cat just like see ya. Uh, uh, the original name or the original uh, old hungry is the clock tower because as like children tried to climb it as like you know because the night children just they don't know what to do they so they just and die exactly and the old hungry it's called because it just like the the cog work inside the tower it just like eats their limbs and stuff like that when they are not careful so it like Jesus. devours them wait 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 hold hold on a second i was right technically Let's... You see, there are two things in there called the old hungry. You didn't say who the original first hu old hungry all right, is. I'll give you, you half a point. Old... I'll give you. All right, half all right. All right. There all we right. go. If all I can right, get right, at least fine. six, I'll beat. I'll beat Ross. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All Work right. with that wording. <laughs> what is the the original old hungry? Now that that would. All right. <laughs> there we go. So let's move to question number six. According to the story, which one of these champions is using an outdated model in game? Which means, which one of these, if you look at them in game, they are not necessarily representing how they look in the story. Is it Leona? Is it Ramus? Is it Draven? Or is it Volibear? Ooh, so they don't look like they do in the story. Yeah, like technically the story is ahead of the model. Well, if that makes sense. Yeah, but I mean, okay, so like that's... imagine, imagine if a champion got a visual rework, uh, and, right? And their story wasn't updated, then their their model in game would be ahead of the story, and in here well, it's the other way around. Well, none of these champions have gotten themselves a legitimate visual rework, like a visual upgrade. Mm. They've had some changes. Draven mm -hmm. had like a mini rework, and not the Volibear is just Volibear. But the only person who actually had a legitimate texture update was Ramus, uh like a big one or i can a tell you that one. i can tell you that this would be more than just a texture uh texture update okay which of the one of these champions is using an outdated model in game so so their story looks different than they do yeah in their story they are described differently than what they look like in game i'm gonna go with leona is that your final answer Nope, but I want it to be, so I don't, I don't, it's either, yep, I'm just gonna go with Leona. Screw it. You are wrong, it is Volibear. Wait, he now, had a, he had a, wait, when did he get a story redo? Was it during the Targon thing? It was during Orn. In Orn's story, uh, Volibear is described as the legendary thousand pierced warbear, 
He is a massive like hybrid of, of a of a bear, something similar to what he is right now, but he is giant. And the major difference is that he has huge scars across his body, like he's devastated, and he has like swords and spears and arrows pierced, uh, pierced like in his in body, him. so they are oh. like sticking out. So that's that's what he's supposed to look like now. But I guess that's you know just right not there yet. So I, I really want to see his update. That's yeah, really same. Cool. I, that, that's interesting. I, I don't know. I was thinking, I was trying to remember Ramus's lore, and it's like, no, he's definitely the same. He rolls around yeah. like eats beetles and just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Draven has definitely not changed. My only other thought was uh, the whole Leona Diana yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. Maybe they like changed her armor or something. But uh, okay, darn. So let's let's see what Volibear will look like in the future. Yeah, yeah definitely. So These are harder now, than I thought. Yeah. Shit. Let's move to question number seven. According to Zillion's new lore, he oh comes from... Is it A. Shurima? Is it B. Piltover? Is it C. Ionia? Or is it D. Zon? Ah, crap. Zillion. Where did he uh, used to Zillion. come from, though? Uh, he used to come in the old lore from the Great Barrier, which I don't think it even is in League Naria right now, which was like between... It's like the void in reality or something, right? Yeah, there was like the jungle, like the old twisted tree line as well around there. Right. I don't even remember what there was. I think... You see, the Blood Moon skin immediately gives me the idea that he comes from Ionia. Hmm. However, I don't... At the same time, I, I, I don't think it's Piltover. It seems yeah. wrong. I don't think it's Zahn, because Zahn seems too fucked up for him. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Ionia uh, off the Blood Moon. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Actually, wait. Who has Blood Moon skins? Uh, Shen. It's pretty much all Ionia. I'm gonna go with Ionia. Yeah, I'll go with Is Ionia. Finland. Yes. You are wrong. It is Shurima. God damn it. And God, the, the did, interesting did thing. Updated, did his lore get updated <laughs> after the Blood Moon skin? Yes. God damn it. It was, it was like the recent update where they changed the virus and like did the internet blew up because of that as well. Wait, so, it was during the virus update? Uh, during that update, they they pretty much updated every single champion that had old lore. Like they gave them they gave them like the little paragraph to like set them in line with everyone else. Right. And the interesting thing with with Zillion is that he comes from the same place as Jax. He's also from Ikathia. And he basically went into his tower and he's now sitting there looking for realities where his city didn't blow up. So he's like trying to revert. Uh, he's trying to reverse time. So what, what right. happened in Ikathia would never happen. Shit. So yeah. Damn it, I was typing myself up so hard earlier. I was like, you know, what? I got this. <laughs> I got this and I just lost like four in a row. That, that no, happens. five in a row. Oh shit, no, I sucked right now. We God, usually count it. at the end because I usually can't keep track of uh, these numbers, so <laughs> we'll okay, see how far right. you go. So let's move to question number eight. How many aspects of Targon do we know about? Is it four, five, six, or seven? Uh aspects are what exactly? Mm. Is like every champion that's from Targon, or is it like that's a good question if it is every champion from Targon, but like, you know, you got aspects of different things. Ah, screw it, I'm going with six. Is that your final answer? I got I got no clue, dude. I'm going with six. So, let's count. We got Pantheon, the aspect of war. We Leona got and Diana. Leona and Diana, Sun and Moon. We got Tarik, the aspect of Protector. And we got Zoe, the aspect of Twilight, which is five! What about Aurelian Soul? He's not an aspect. He's a space dragon. Oh, so he's they like, have to have the, the the word aspect in their name. No, it's, the... it's, it's something totally different because the dragons were there when like nothing was in the in space, and the dragon flew around. He created planets, and on those planets, like the first beings became. You, you know, but they, that, they that's what he says. Zoe says otherwise. But still, Zoe confirms yeah, still. that aspect uh, that he is not aspect because even okay. if he was lying, he would be something lesser. So it's Sun, Moon, War, Protector. what's Tarek again? Protector, and then Twilight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this, so it'll be fine. That we know about right now. Okay. So it's five. Now. Damn it. To question number nine. 
Which one of these champions never was in a romantic relationship? Was it A, Ari? Was it B, Camille? Was it C, Darius? Or was it D, Vayne? See, this feels like a bait. <laughs> I know da I know Darius was in one because he had the mm -hmm. recent story with him and his, his other gal. Mm -hmm. uh, now, see, Camille was, in a sense, technically never kind of like... It, well, she was kind of in one to, to a point. It was like it was kind of brewing from a work relationship, and then it was the major decision of like, hey, stay with me or put the heart in, and she chose the heart. So I'm going to say that she was in one. Mm. Um, you, you know, it's actually kind of funny because even how how Ari is, the way she is, I don't think she's actually ever been in a legitimate romantic relationship because she was a fox, took the essence of a human, and she has like the whole lustful thing, but she, I don't think she's ever actually been in one. So I'm going to go with Ari. Is it your final answer? Yeah. You are wrong. She was in a relationship. With who? When when the Vastayan update came in. God, oh, these all these updates. They, these updates are screwing me over so when, bad. When the Vastaya were pretty much revealed, you know, she is a like fox like Vastayan thingy. And there was an explorer that came into Ionia. Oh, uh, not uh, yeah, oh, yeah, Ionia. Uh, and they like started being together so it was a romantic rela oh. relationship but ari can and that's something you can't see in game ari has the ability to consume uh memories and she hungers for that she's actually like stealing people's memories so that's she first up. ate his memory and then she consumed his life so so she was in love with only one person person and she killed him and that's why so, she she then decided she she then decided she wanted to lose her own memory, so she just went into the uh, garden of lost memories and she tried to forget about that. That's her story, basically. Okay, wow, she's a lot less horrible now. Because before, mm. well, her because her old lore, she was just the fox turning that, into the person yeah. was like, oh, okay, so I was using the old Ari lore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, crap. Damn it, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. I, I didn't realize she had that. Wait, so was she? Did she look like? the way she looks now in the new lore because pretty she's much, I'm pretty sure, yeah, pretty much from the beginning. That's okay, so she was like. never just a small fox. She was no, just no, no, kind no. of this weird hybrid. Okay, so... Yeah. But so, wait, so now she went into the thing and removed her memories, so isn't she, like, kind of okay now? She's just uh, kind of, like, No, regular? in the story, she, like, she, uh... She, like, smelled the f flower that would steal her memories, but in the last second, she just decided that she wants to keep on that memory because that's like the only me only good memory she has. So she just escaped in the last second. So, okay, yeah. so she's still kind of a horrible person, but like not. She's that. trying not to be, but she she's is. trying not to be a horrible yeah. person. Okay, well, who is Vane in love with? No one. That that was the correct answer. Vane was the, was the oh, answer. Oh, oh, she was never in. Oh, right. Wait, yeah. I thought she was. I mm -hmm. ah, crap. I'm pretty sure she wasn't. Or never? at least not in the new. I don't. I'm not sure about the old lore. Yeah, I thought she had one in the old lore, but maybe maybe the new thing they... Re okay. And the new and old lore is screwing me up today. <laughs> it's getting me, damn it. Okay. Well, let's see about the final question. It's 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 Freljord. I know this one already. Let me just read it. <laughs> okay, fine. Go ahead. Before Ivern became one with nature, he was a warrior of... Uh, the Masia Freljord knocks us to the wilds. He was a frail your conquistador. Is that final though. answer? Yes, it is. You are correct, absolutely. Yes, I remember. I remember that one. It's <laughs> like, man, fuck this tree, and then like the tree took him over. And it's like, you know what? Trees are pretty cool. That yep, was a that, good I story. I really enjoyed the. the no, he has a fantastic Ivern story. Is fantastic. Yeah, I really like that one. But uh, yeah, that I was recently, before before this video, even I just looked at his like teasers, and they are so well done. Just this like goofy character is really well portrayed, even before we knew who he was. Like yeah, he, he's character. he's funny. He is absolutely. So let's go. Let's go to the first question, so you know. Damn, so, it's so shit. You did get whisper. Uh, you did get hextech on the second right. one. Did not get eggs. You did not get eggs. Did not get you the did not get king. king. Got you half a point for I, the. I'll, I'll, I'll give you half a point. Yeah. Uh, you, no, you did not get volibear. No, no. You did not get zillion. You did not get aspect, nor romantic, and not the final question. So you get two and a half points. Three and a half points, or no. two and a half? No, three oh, and a half. Three? Wait, yeah, was no, it? I, I got I got hextech, whisper, and yes. the frail yard. 
And then oh yeah, the three and a half. Sorry, 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 sorry. My fault. My Which fault. that three means I, ki I kicked out Fox Drop. You got Fox Drop. Three. Mm. Nice. Mm. By cheating the system. <laughs> Wait, damn! I didn't realize Ross was so good at this shit. He surprised damn, me. I... He he did. He absolutely surprised me. It's a shame Damn. because you actually know a lot about the story as well. So. Yeah, I, I got I got screwed up with so many of these questions. I I'd say, I was like, okay, Zillion, Blood Moon, it has to be Ionia. No. You got uh, screwed these... over with the updates, really. Yeah, the updates got me. The Orin story. Ah, too, too many recent updates. So, yeah. with that, I guess, with the power of editing, we can just say our goodbyes and then we'll get to the second segment. So... Thank you everyone for watching and we'll we'll jump to the second segment which will be probably up tomorrow so I guess uh, see you for now